Well, this has been a very good week here in the Northland. My first great grandson, Jax Allen, was born to Serena and Cole this week and mother and baby are doing fine. Have you ever known anybody that was prone to lies and half-truths? Yeah, you know, I think we all have. And we probably have learned to really check out things that they say uh, and confirm the things that they say. But sometimes, even though we know that they're prone to lies and half-truths, we believe them anyway. You know, Satan is like this. Satan is the master at lies and half-truths. In fact, Jesus calls Satan a liar and the father of lies. Today, I want to look at four lies that Satan told Eve in the garden. Lie number one, did God really mean? It's okay for you to be angry at Joe. Right? Because Joe hates you, you have a right to hate Joe back. Did God really say you can't do that? Did God really say you shouldn't gossip? Did God really say you shouldn't lust? Lie number two, surely you shall not die. You know, young people bite into this lie all the time, but not so much people who are old and are in nursing homes. Lie number three, God doesn't have your best in mind. God doesn't care about you. God's a cosmic killjoy. He doesn't want you to have any fun at all. The truth of the matter is, the joys of the world are all temporary. And the best joys in the world have to do with Jesus, and Jesus' joy will last forever. Why number four, you can be like God. God didn't really create all this stuff. Look at all the achievements of man. You can do things as good as God. God is irrelevant. You can set up your own rules. Well, here's your assignment for this week. The first thing I want you to do is consider these four lies. The lie of, did God really say? Surely you shall not die. God does not have your best in mind. You can be like God. And your second part of the assignment is to honestly ask yourself, are you falling for these lies and the other lies of Satan? Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Aloha, see you there. And for goodness sakes, consider the truths of Jesus and don't get caught in the trap of Satan's lies and his half-truths. God bless.